for creating the Azure Spot instance, let's go to the Azure portal first. portal.azure.com So then you need to actually um, enter the credentials. So there is a multi-factor authentication actually set it up, set up on this particular account. So we would need to um, accept on Microsoft Authenticator. Okay, now we are into the uh, portal. Um, let's try to create a virtual machine. Okay, so here I already got you know um, two virtual machines. Let's try to create a new one. Click on Add. So there, uh, there, there are multiple tabs, um, which is actually needs to be configured uh, in order to create a virtual machine. But uh, let's try to actually, you know, uh, let's try to look into the um, uh, Azure Spot instance. Um, and uh, let me try to actually use this in the default settings. And if you want to know, if you want to, if you don't want to know how to create a virtual machine, actually with all these settings, I have another video, um, you know, um, given in the, URL in the description, you can able to watch. Um, so here, okay, I got an uh, Visual Studio Enterprise um, edition um, license. So I could actually use that one. Um, and um, so this is a resource group. Resource group is actually a group. Um, it's a container where, you know, you can, um, you can collect, uh, you can group all your uh, resources. Um, so, so virtual machine is actually one of the resources, and you can also uh, add uh, resources. For instance, you know, if you have, uh, if you want to, um, you know, deploy a web application, you know, um, then you can have a particular uh, resource group actually for that particular, you know, um, the web application. So, so, so let's say, you know, SQL Server and a virtual machine, and you know, if you need, you know, multiple resources, all those resources can be grouped together. So let's let's put um, another source name um, like test resource group name as test, and then uh, virtual machine. Um, yeah, you can give any name. Um, and the region, the region of the data center, you can actually choose. Um, you know your nearest um, data centers. In in my case, it's Australia um, East which is actually in Sydney. Um, and then, um, yeah, you have availability option. I'm not really going to give any available by default. Um, let, let's use the by default settings. So here the image, image is actually nothing but, uh, you know, what type of OS you want to deploy. Um, so it's a, it's a, you know, it's a collection of Windows and um, Linux. It's a wide variety of uh, operating systems available at this moment. So let's try to use uh, Windows Server 2019 Data Center um, Edition. Here, uh, so here is actually the, the configuration um, needed for Azure Spot Instance. Um, so there are, it's asking, okay, do you want a uh, Spot Instance or not? By default, it is actually no. Um, yeah, let's try, let's try to create a Spot Instance and the, okay, um, choose S. And um, in the Azure Spot instance, if you choose uh, as AS, then there are two types of options uh, available for eviction type. Um, so one is actually the capacity only option. Uh, the capacity only option, um, Azure will, uh, if when the Azure needs um, more resources, they would actually evict the uh, virtual machine. The second, the second option is actually uh, price. So you can actually choose, you can set your um, price. So let's say, so here they actually mentioned about the maximum price uh, you want to pay uh, per hour. Um, so let's say the value must be at least, so this is actually the minimum amount you would need to uh, given there. Um, 
okay so we actually uh, we choose price or capacity as the eviction type and i give them the minimum amount um, and here you can okay i'm not going to change the size of the machine let's try to use the uh, the by default one um, and uh, yes then you would need to actually choose a username in this case okay i put my username as ashish and then you know yes you need to select you need to give um, a password And the next option um so what are the what are the ports actually you would need to allow um so in this case um so they are saying that okay that the below options um the below in, uh, inbound ports you know can be open so in this case actually i choose http um so let's say you know, if you want to um host a website okay you would need to enable if you need to open http and https okay so let me choose http and https and i'm not really using any SSH, so I'm not really selecting that, and RDP for the remote desktop option. Um, and there uh, they are asking, uh, because I actually got the Visual Studio Enterprise license option, so there is an option actually for um, for saving money, like um, if you already have a Windows Server license, you could use S, uh, then the price would be you know much less. So in, in this case, yes, I, ch I choose um, S, because I do have, I do have uh, Windows Server licensing. Uh, okay, in the select this, I'm not really going to actually do any changes actually here, and I'm going to click on review and create. That would actually create the uh, the spot instance. Thank you for watching.